Happy New Year, everybody. I'm Pete, founder and chief Nosh of Great American Nosh, where we live by the mantra, eat, drink, and savor. Hope you like my nice hat, my eat, drink, savor merchandise. I just put that on the website not too long ago, so if you uh, like this style, you actually can get it. But that's not what we're here for. We are here to try a new recipe. Now, my struggles with meatloaf are legendary. Mental, physical, moral, all the, all of the above. And actually, I'm gonna have a nice feature video coming up for you guys soon that you actually hopefully will enjoy. But here or there, I have some vegetarians in my family. Uh, we are mostly carnivores here in this household, but now and then I do must accommodate them when they come over. And an homage to my family members who are vegetarian, I am actually going to try a Beyond Meat Meatloaf. I found this recipe on the internet. I like to tweak, tweak with these recipes all the time, but in this case, I am just going to try to match this thing uh, ingredient to ingredient instead of letting me play around with it I'm gonna stick to it as much as I can with all the ingredients I have in my house I'm not gonna do anything fancy I'm not gonna put in my smoker I'm not gonna do anything else I'm just gonna try to follow it to the letter the only thing I'm going to do which is a little bit different is I'm going to let the seasonings melt uh, a little bit before I cook it immediately and that's what that recommends here but I hope you enjoy this you're going to take one pound of the Beyond Meat and we're going to break it up. It's kind of actually thick, so you got to be careful with this. Next, some oregano. Next, some paprika. Some garlic salt. I actually have some mustard French's here. I actually love French's. Nice taste to it. Half a cup of chopped onions. And two tablespoons of Heinz ketchup. We're gonna actually just mix this up. Oh, I forgot the liquid smoke here. That's one tablespoon of liquid smoke. I think that's hickory. And then we're actually gonna mix it up. I'm not gonna use my hands this time. I'll use my hands at a different times, kind of gross. We're gonna put this away six hours later. Now we add the binder, some breadcrumbs, one egg and a little bit of water. Now we mix with our hands, kind of gross. Get it all mixed in really good. Now we put it in uh, parcel paper in a loaf pan. What I'm trying to do is actually take some of the air out and make sure there's I'm pushing it down as you this is a one and a half quart loaf pan and it's I'm again I'm just trying to take air out and make sure it's compact I don't want pockets of air uh, it will cook more evenly when it's like this as well Time to make the glaze. Brown sugar, ketchup, equal parts, quarter cup, quarter cup. Time to get out the fancy mustard. Dijon, two teaspoons of Dijon. Mix it real well. This is gonna be your glaze. After 25 minutes in the oven, you're gonna put the glaze on. Uh, after 35 minutes, you're gonna put the glaze on and then cook it 25 warm minutes. All right, folks, the moment of truth. I am scared to death about this meatloaf. Like I said, I have a history with meatloaf and we will Get, delve into that some other time. <laughs> you could be my psychologist. This cooked for 35 minutes. Then I put a glaze on, which I think the glaze is going to kill here. And then the glaze cooked for 25 minutes, and then I let it rest for 10 minutes before I cut it. Uh, this is a little, as you can see, it's not a lot. It was only a pound of the uh, Beyond Meat. So I think maybe for uh, 
larger appetites, I'd probably do a two pound uh, thing of meat. But anyway, let's try this. Wow. That's, that's pretty good. Now the texture is a little different than meat or beef that I'm used to, but really good. And I think I was right. The glaze really wins. Next time I make this, I think I'm actually going to put this on my smoker instead of using the liquid smoke. Still, the spices are fantastic. I'm going to give a shout out to the original recipe owner um, on the link down below. Uh, she did an awesome job. I'm going to play around with this recipe some more, but I think I'm going to make this some more for the family. The family loved it. I actually like this. I mean, I mean seconds here. I eat this a lot. Really good. Stuff in my face. Eat, drink, savor.